Morning! Hello and welcome to Disney Wish Embarkation Day! Um, if you're new to the vlogs, hello, my name is Adam Hatton. This is my friend Gary C. Hello! We do Disney vlogs about Disney Cruise Line, Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland California, all of that fun stuff. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please tune in. We've got uh, one, two, three, three, four vlogs coming from the Disney Wish and a little bit of Disney World coming afterwards as well. We're looking a bit better now. Um, Gary's wearing this lovely Mickey Mouse t-shirt number. It's ensemble. Where's it from? Probably Matalan or Asda. Lovely. Um, I am, I'm just wearing clothes. Um, we're going via the Disney Cruise Line transfer and we've left the bags at the door uh, by 7 a.m. is what the instructions said when we got the little letter through yesterday. So if you happen to be doing a, uh, a land and sea stay in Disney World where you're gonna be doing Disney World and Disney Cruise Line, they'll leave a letter on your door um, just before you leave, as long as you put the Disney Cruise Line transfer. If you haven't booked that, you just need to make your own way to the port when you're ready. Um, you excited? Very excited. I'm like, just sitting here like, decompress, 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 the ship! <laughs> the ship! The cases have just been picked up. We're ready to leave. We're gonna go get some breakfast at the quick service whilst we Wait for the coach to be ready to pick us up. Um, goodbye, Pop Century Room. You've been absolutely lovely. Very goodbye. comfortable. Goodbye, Pop Century Room. Very nice. To the heat again. Because it's so early, it's not that bad. No, it's alright actually. Although the camera's fogged up. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Disney resorts are so nice first thing in the morning. You know why? No one around. <laughs> oh, I am hungry. I can smell Mickey waffles. Is that what you're gonna get? The quick service of Pop Century is honestly one of my favourite things. Gary going for makes some Mickey waffles. Very nice, lovely. Can it wait? I've gone for a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, as well as some potato tots. These aren't just normal Mickey waffles. These are Pop Century Mickey Waffles. Bow, 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 bow. I didn't really try, baby. We just checked in with the lovely man who was holding the Disney Cruise Line sign. Um, he said the, the, train, the buses are going to be here about 9.20. So he said, take a seat, relax, just come back here at 9.20 and I'll take you out to the coach. So, <sighs> all this dreaming and wishing uh, 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 to go on this cruise and now it's finally here. Yep, so excited. The cruise launched two weeks ago yesterday, so we're right. very close to the maiden voyage, which is really strange considering that yeah. wasn't the plan. <laughs> we're on one of the inaugural sailings. Well, we were actually originally on an inaugural sailing. Oh, were we? We were on like the second or third sailing and then it got cancelled because they oh. moved the ship back. So then we rebooked onto this one. Today's the day, look, all zeros. That's a good tip for um, on your first day as well. Um, download the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app to your phone um, because they do give you uh, a certain amount of Wi-Fi to download it on the first day. But if you don't use that, you can use that for like free internet surfing, basically. So download it whilst you're at your Disney Resort with your Wi-Fi. Um, the app also needs certain permissions. So when it first downloads to your phone, it'll say, do you give it permission to use your location? to send you notifications, all that stuff, make sure everything's approved, otherwise it won't work when you're on board. So we're on a non-Disney Cruise Line bus, but we've taken the Disney Cruise Line bus before, so Gary has had a picture already. I have. To the aircom. It's also the one you lost your passport on. Ooh. Triggered! <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed your time at Walt Disney World and hope you have a magical cruise. Thank you for traveling with us today. Thank you, woohoo! Goodbye, Pop Century. You were lovely. Bye-bye! It is huge. <laughs> wow. Rapunzel on the back. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let us on board. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Disney Wish. Woohoo! So, in just a moment, we're going to be exiting the motor coach. I'm going to ask that you look for all of your items and make sure you have everything with you. Look above and below. So they basically have two lines at the moment. They have clear to sail, clear to arrive. We're clear to arrive. So we're just going to go to the end of here and stop because we need to go to testing. 
but Enchante has a delicious lemon dessert. It takes 72 hours to make it. We actually booked our tests um, for the port. Um, I maybe would recommend against it now because there was the, like, I'd say 90% of the coach had like already done it ahead of time. Um, and I have since learned that they do accept like airport tests and Walgreens tests and that kind of stuff. Um, but there, there's a lot of old information, a lot of new information. We didn't really know what to believe. And I knew that this definitely worked, so which is why we went for this. Um, but we've done the swab tests and everything. We're just waiting for the results. Yeah. The most painstaking part of any cruise at the moment. One, two, three. We're clear to sail. Oh, oh, I didn't say what we were going to say. We're clear to sail. One, two, three. We're, we're clear, clear to, to sail. sail. Woohoo! Disney Cruise Line. Da 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 da. If you know, you know. Sure. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. How are you? Good. How are you? excited? We are more than excited. Oh, Very excited. <laughs> England? Yeah, yep. London. How did you know? Uh, for your shirt. <laughs> so this is after the refurbishment. You come through here, you do a little check-in. Here we go! This is it. In all sailing. Little escalator. Welcome to Disney Cruise Line. Da 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 as we're international guests, we actually couldn't be checked in downstairs. Uh, so we have to go over to the guest check-in on the left-hand side as we come in. And they've got to check that our esters are valid and that kind of stuff. So if you are traveling from the UK and boarding a Disney cruise in the US, make sure you print out the confirmation of your ester. We kindly request that you continue to enjoy the cruise terminal until your boarding group number has been announced. So we have to come to this check-in area over here. Um, if you're traveling from the UK or international, you need your ESTA information, so like a printed confirmation for everyone in the party. You need your passport, you need a port arrival form from Disney, and you also need your flight information if uh, you don't have a stamp in your passport. At the back of the terminal is the viewing deck, so you can come out here and see the ship that you're going to be sailing on. Ooh. It is warm out here. <laughs> It is toasty out here. <laughs> I had no idea it would actually look this much bigger. It is I mean, it's still like, it's, it's similar size to the Wish and the Dream, but the Wish and the Dream, the Dream and the Fantasy. But um, it's so much taller. It yeah, seems. like this whole section wasn't on the other ships. Are we going to dare to go on this, the Mouse Duck thing? Yeah, the, the Aqua Mouse. Yeah. I've seen something to add to my collection. One for one dollar, or all eight for five dollars. Oh, what a bargain! That is a bargain. Oh, it's doing it. I'm pressing your pennies now. So which ones are you getting? You're getting Mickey, Minnie, Disney Cruise Line. Chicken Dale. Great. Don't forget, when you get them, you have to squish them down. Ah, we love the pro tips. Otherwise, they, they don't go flat. <laughs> this is like a game. It's a game. <laughs> oh, I'll hold this one. Is that all eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hooray! And so it begins. So it begins. The magical times. Gary's yeah. currently sending me the pictures, and all I can hear is ding, 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 ding. This <laughs> is. <laughs> So once we finished checking in, they gave us uh, these little tickets to board the ship. So this is how we know our boarding number. And we basically show these to the cast members through here. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> it's actually happening. We're going on the wish. No one here pictures. <laughs> my heart is going like a million miles an hour. I've been so excited about this. We're about to cross the threshold. Disney wish. Please welcome aboard. Adam and Gary. Thank you. Woo. Woo. We've just got into the beautiful lobby. Look at how stunning this is. Amazing. The carpet is beautiful. We've got these turrets over here. It is honestly Disney stunning. wish. Please welcome aboard the Cardula family. 
and you get a wand that says Disney Wish. Yes, we are currently waiting for a special appearance from a certain someone. Yeah, a magical someone. Yeah. It's Flynn! Hi! Hello. And Rapunzel, sorry, hi. <laughs> you are my favourite though. Disney Wish, please welcome aboard. We have no idea what you're saying, we can't hear you. Disney Wish, please welcome aboard the Beltran and yeah. Blue Burns family. <laughs> Yes, soak it up, me, soak it up. Yeah. Marvelous, gorgeous, darling, Disney yes! Wish. Please welcome aboard the Suquesh family. Please welcome aboard the Waltz family. Right, we're going to try and look around some of the open houses now. Yeah. Hopefully, um, we can catch them whilst they're a little bit quieter because we're one of the first people on board. Um, there is actually a slide down to the kids' club here. How cool is that? That is great. It's been a long time since I've done a slide, so here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You've been reborn, Gary. <laughs> we get to wash our hands in the cool things. This is Disney's Oceaneer Club, and this is for ages 2 to 12. Now I've heard and seen great things about this club, so let's go and take a look around, shall we? Um, the clubs are at open house when you first board, and also uh, three times during each day. Oh cool, they've got like character bathrooms. That's so cute. <gasps> wow. Oh my, this is like Galaxy's Edge. This is cool. Oh Gary, look, switches. We love switches. <laughs> I'm such a kid. I love it. I want to be 12 again. This is awesome. Superhero Academy. Ooh. I also love this. It's very like um, Animator's Palette. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool. It's, do you know what? It smells clean. Yeah, it smells clean. Like it smells new. Ooh, Captain America. That's America's ass right there. That is great. We're now moving into the Walt Disney Imagineering Lab. Oh my god, I would have loved this as a kid. Look, they've got like pretend roller coasters to go on and stuff. That's amazing. Your niece and nephew would have a field day in here. Oh yeah, this is so good. Look, they've got even got like a model of the Disney Wish. Wow. So our room is like... It's, it's, it's either there or there. I can't remember. This is Mickey and Minnie's captain's deck. Which looks like it's probably steered towards the younger kids of the 2 to 12 range. This is cool, isn't it? Yeah, this is great. So well themed. This is amazing, this. And last but not least, out of the ocean is club, we've got the fairy tale hall. <gasps> oh, this is so good. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute! Look at the little twinkles oh, in the sky. Look at the wardrobe. Oh, it's so lovely. So this is—I'm assuming this is a Rapunzel room. Yeah, Should yeah, for the painting and stuff. <gasps> Frozen. Look. Wow. Are 
I can already tell what's been Gary's favourite part so far. This is <laughs> Gary's favourite film is Beauty and the Beast, after all. It's so cute. So do you like little story times in here and stuff? Yeah. Oh look, it's Cog's wife and Lumiere. You have to really get in to see all the details. Madame wardrobe. Oh. Wow, this is so cute. Oh, look at the little chairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. Oh, that is <gasps> Flynn Rider, we love him. That's so cute. Little nursery in here, so they can sleep down in little cots. Uh, they take children from six months to three years in this area specifically. So cute. Little train, little train. I love how the Trisha cat's on the back like, what's up girl? <laughs> Everything's just so well detailed, it's so good. Like, even like that is Alice in Wonderland. So on the Disney Wish, you may have seen from the concept artwork or other people's vlogs, there is a hyperspace lounge st themed to Star Wars on board. Um, you do need reservations because it's quite a small space from what I've heard. Um, it changes on the sailing as to where you actually make the reservations. Sometimes it's outside the lounge. Today it's in Tritons. So we're heading up to deck five. We love a glass slipper. Magical shirt. Wow. It also smells divine. Yeah, it smells great. It smells like I don't know if it's the same scent as the other Disney ships. I think it is, but it's. Well, the higher up you get, the more grand it becomes. Disney. Oh, it's Princess Diana and the Hi. We love your beignets. They're great. <laughs> We're good. You okay? <laughs> good. <laughs> Bye. Look at that. Figaro. Is it Figaro? Figaro. Okay, so we were told to go past Luna. Oh, this looks lovely. Is it open? It is not. Okay, we'll come back another time. This is like one of the um, entertainment venues where you can like see quizzes and stuff. Okay, so we're coming into Triton's Lounge. And I'm assuming we join a wait of some sort. So, bearing in mind we were boarding group four, one of the first people on the ship. We've come to Triton's Lounge as one of the first things after the kids club. The, they're pretty much nearly full for the entire cruise. Um, bearing in mind it's a three night cruise, so you've got the same number of people trying to see Hyperspace Lounge in a shorter period of time than you would on a four night cruise. Um, but we've booked in for the evening of the last day. So we'll hopefully be able to see that. They have more availability today, but we obviously have other things to show you guys in the ship, so. This is nice. It's very lovely. Wow, this is very opulent. Mm. So in theory, you don't have to actually push these. Ta-da! Oh, that's good. Ooh! Nice. Right, I have no idea where we're going, so let's just... Five or 12. Let's just go for it. If you've sailed with Disney Cruise Line before, one of the biggest changes is the fact that they have two staircases rather than three. So normally you'd have like an aft staircase, a mid and a forward. Now you have these two. Um, so it, it's, it's a little bit different trying to work your way around this ship compared to the previous. Because I think the first four, they're quite intuitive. Um, but hopefully by the time that we get to the end of the cruise, we'll know. We'll know that. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it. <laughs> and then we'll disembark. That new carpet smell, mmm, delicious. Mm. Ooh, it's something out there. We're currently at the deck 12 forward. Ooh, sun. Ooh, cute. Toy Story Splash Time. Oh, this is adorable. Look at them. I love it. Oh, these are so lovely. Like all these little pools everywhere. It's lovely, and they've got a Slidosaurus Rex here, which is this uh, big yellow slide. I think this is normally called the Twist and Spout on the other ships. Say, I'm on vacation! I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great song. Get on your feet. We'll have to sing over the song so it doesn't get copyrighted. Look at that screen, isn't it lovely? This is where they do the stage shows. Five, six, seven, eight. Get on your feet. Get up and make 
it happen. This always reminds me of Parks and Recreation. So this is the Aquamouse. This is the first attraction uh, Disney has done at sea. So it's like got a conveyor belt that goes all the way up there and it slides around. Very cool. Similar to the other ships, they have a color coding for the staircases. So the forward is green and the aft is red. Forward is front, aft is back. These are cold. They're very nicely done. Have you lady fixed the glass? I use it on behalf. You're supposed to know the lyrics to this one. Come oh, on. I know. <laughs> right, we're, oh, go oh, <laughs> we're gonna go to the Vibe and the Hideaway and Hero Zone. So this is Vibe. This is for the older teens. Ooh, very classy. <laughs> Hello. They've got like a teens bar in here. Um, it looks like they could definitely do like some sort of karaoke setup. Very classy. They also have their own um, drink station here, so they can have um, coffee and Coca-Cola products and stuff, which is cool. Very nice. Very nice. Let me be a teenager again. <laughs> Coming out of Vibe, we have the Hero Zone, and also, I think there's another section as well. Do you know, when I used to go on Caravan all the day for Clapton, they didn't have all these <laughs> No, when I was going to Pontins as a kid, we didn't exactly have this. I mean, we had an arcade and stuff, but this is next level. What's the hero, hero zone. zone. So this is where they have like inflatables and stuff. Oh. It might not be open yet. It is. Ooh. Wow. Caca. Oh my god! This is this is on a ship. What this is. Like is like I can't. Go, stand there. Look how look how big this is. It's like a sport. Yeah. So they do like a big Incredibles inflatable assault course as well. We've got ping pong tables here, but it's the full, it's like pretty much a half basketball court based on what I can see. So loads of space for like people to sit around the edge. Oh wow. Upstairs they've got foosball tables. Wow. It's crazy. Chill out cushion. What is downstairs? Fancy what is lighting downstairs? everywhere. I know, it's very nice. Oh, it's warm. Oh, this is the marketplace for food. Captain Mini! This is your first ship as well, isn't it? Am I to get a picture with you? Or are you yes. in a rush? Oh, you're not in a rush? <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, Mini. Enjoy steering the ship! Bye! <laughs> this is Inside Out Joyful Suites. Do we go in this way? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sadness. You're gonna need to get a bitch with her. <laughs> Brilliant. So when you see it on Instagram, you were there. The attention to detail is amazing. Like they don't have to put that in there. They don't have to make it look the part, you know, it's not functional, it's just, it just looks great. Disgust, love it. Look at that view as well. <laughs> Look at these trees. Now, um, everything in here is an upcharge because uh, there are, these aren't all included in your cruise price. But they are pretty spectacular. I'll tell you what, in location day, it's stressful. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people trying to get reservations and going places and trying to find their way around the ship. Us included. But, um, oh, right. Edge? Edge. Let's go and find Edge. Edge is very hidden. It's like tucked away in a secret room. Thankfully, thing. a cast member was like, Edge, follow me. Um, it's basically at the aft staircases just around the corner here. This door here slips into Edge. Ooh. Hi. Donald's there. Donald's there. <laughs> He's playing video games right now. <laughs> Hello. Captain Minnie and Donald. Oh, you're spoiling us. <laughs> oh, no. is, is Donald going to be in trouble for playing video games on the job? Oh, no. No. <laughs> this is really cool that we've seen, we've seen two characters whilst we've been on the ship. We've only been here an hour. Well, and we've seen Tiana and And Rapunzel and Flynn. This is the character's ship, apparently. <laughs> so as part of the embarkation process, you do have to go by your muster station and do the scan-in. Um, we did this on the Magic at Sea sailings, if you've seen that. 
Um, but essentially, you have to find your letter, go on the app, and scan in. So we are P. Yeah. So we should be at this I think we're here. P. Oh, yeah. Check in complete. Yay. Yay. Yay! Thank you very much. Hi. This is so cool. We are slowly starting to get our bearings. Um, the main levels that you need to know are level five, level three, and level uh, eleven, I think, to go around the top. Um, everything in between those ones is pretty much cabins, but they allow you kind of just to go down the ship and stuff. Fancy shops. Ooh, very fancy shops. Very nice. So is this like very similar to a lot of the other ships? Just off the main lobby is where the shopping precinct is. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's like they've built the shopping around the lobby and they've also added some more bars. This is the Bayou, the Princess and the Frog Ooh, one. This is great. This looks lovely. I love all the details in the ceiling and stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. This is such a cool little detail. Levine! For you, baby. I could be. I was going to say whisper sweet nothings, croak sweet nothings to me and my <laughs> I haven't been wined and dined by a frog in many years. Hang on, are you brothers? I've got the eyes for it. And the rest of it as well. <laughs> the lizard skin. Frog man! <laughs> We've just seen that the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge is currently on an open house. They're not serving, but you can go and have a look around. Ooh. Just the fonts like fancy. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is so cool. It is amazing. So this lounge is very similar to the Skyline Lounge on the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, whereby the um, the scene will change here. So cool. <laughs> That's Star Trek. <laughs> we'll be able to look around the uh, merchandise later. Uh, they can't obviously open whilst they're in port. Um, but once we've set sail, we'll be able to have a look around. There is some lovely Cinderella stuff over there that has Disney Wish branding on it, and I would like to go and see that when it is open. For now, we're just going to be like people against the Mackie door, Mac Mackie doors, Mackie D's doors. Like, let us in. My is open 24 hours. Is it? Times have changed. Like, what's <laughs> so this is the Walt Disney Theatre. Um, today's show is going to be Disney Seize the Adventure. Uh, 6.30 for second seating guests, which is us, and then 8.30pm for first seating guests. It's beautiful. Do you want to go upstairs to see the spa? Oh yeah, let's have a look at the spa. Little little moo moo shiru around the spa. Let's have a little moo moo shiru. So the census spa is now an open house. We're gonna have a little tour. Ooh, hi. Very nice. Hello. Hello. Namaste. <laughs> This is lovely. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Have you worked on the other ships? No, this is my first The first one? Oh, good. Wow. Start at the top, work your way down. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I love all the... We'll see everything. Yeah, go for it. This is a treatment room, I see. Yes, there's lovely. a treatment room for the facial. So I, I'm the facialist on board. Lovely. I'm the facialist on board. Wow. My name is Flo. <gasps> You are joking. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. <laughs> what you can get there, we're doing for three Then you will be so in the jacuzzi. Then after that, you will get 50 minutes or 75 minutes massage of your choice. Wow. Okay, At the end of the treatment, we're going to give you a tropical fruits and tea ceremony. Wow. Awesome, thank you. So how much is that one? The 75 minute with massage, it's, it's 599. It's 599. It's two already. Okay, great, thanks. Yeah. Oh, so is it 599 per person? No. It's for oh, okay. No, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And the whole experience is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Thank you very much. We've done these ones before. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, not like this, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <gasps> it is huge. How much is the rainforest room on there? Yeah, 19588 for the whole cruise. 195 so that's 19588 so for the whole cruise. Just under $200 is that per yeah. person? Yeah, per person. Per person. Yeah. Can you do a day pass? Do they have a day pass? Yes. The day pass what is $79. Yes. Right, okay. Look up. What what what's the shape? Hit a Mickey. <laughs> Luna is like the D lounge on the other ships. Um, it's a slightly bigger space because it's two floors. But they do quizzes in here, family entertainment, that kind of stuff. On embarkation day, this is um, reservations for Echon Eng. Ech Butchering the, butchering the French language over here. Enchanté and Paolo. Um, so you can come in here and make reservations if you haven't been able to get one before your um, sale date, which is sometimes the case. Um, uh, across from there, we've got Keg and Compass. Ooh. What's this? This looks like a kind of sports bar type thing. It's very nautical, I like it. I've got lots of um, great nautical details around the walls in here. But uh, if you're looking for sports, this is the place to be. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be spending much this time in here. <laughs> I love the little mermaid details every now and then. It's very nice. Sword of a stone carpet, very nice. Mickey's mainsail! Oh, so that's where it is. Yes. So on the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, this is where Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique would be. They have the golden Mickeys. I already have one. <laughs> But this is like your Disney Cruise Line-esque merchandise location, so we'll come back here once the shops are open. Disney that's where the pins will be. This is the Enchanted Sword Cafe. So that's, this is near Mickey's main sale. Very lovely. Hi! Cashier number 11, please. <laughs> Cashier number Disney Wish. Cashier number Disney Wish. Doors opening. Marceline Market, here we are. So this is Marceline Market, uh, with deck 11 at the back of the ship. Same place that cabanas would be on the other ships. Uh, and this is a little bit different from Buffet. It's kind of like a quick service where you go and help yourself to whatever you want from around the different kiosks. We've got signature choices here. So this is some of the Asian inspired food. We've got curries, uh, rice and fish and that kind of stuff. The kids slash Gary counter. Yeah, the lady did say what could happen in the kids' camp. <laughs> Chicken tenders and fries, as well as they got a uh, cottage pie there as well. Ooh. Very nice. And then they've also got the market deli. So they've got this like salads and stuff. <laughs> House salad, grilled chicken salad there, salad with falafel. Wow, great. At the very back of the ship, they have fresh fare. So this is things like seafood, wow, we've got crab there and everything. Gary Cam is back, Adam has gone to get some drinks before we choose what we're going to have. I am so overwhelmed, <laughs> the sunburn is slightly kicking in with the old uh, backpack thing, but I'm so overwhelmed. I don't really know what to say, just to keep smiling and just be like, this is amazing, this is just so good. I'm so happy that we made it onto the ship, that we tested negative and we're here. I couldn't be happier, it's just so good. But um, I'm just glad that I'm here with Adam as well, just in awe of it all, because it's so amazing. We still haven't done some of the stuff, I've just shown it. So stay tuned and get ready. Gary's just gone off to go and get his food, but here's a little sample of what I've been able to get this time around. So I've got a bit of grilled chicken, mashed potato with gravy, Got some uh, terry, uh, sesame salmon there, chicken tikka masala, and a bread roll. Um, there are fountain beverages as well. Now they say this is like not a buffet, but it's essentially a buffet where it's served to you. Um, it's nice, it's good. Um, I haven't tried the food yet, but the layout is pretty efficient. Um, the cast members are all like really on it. 
there wasn't any lines. This is about 2 p.m. on their embarkation day, so if you come a little bit earlier, it might be a bit different. Um, there's basically two sides, and they're the same. So depending on, imagine cabanas in your head. If you've been on a Disney ship before, like it's pretty much the same setup. Um, so we found it easier to come to the very, very back and get a table because there was more tables open down here. Get a nice view out of the back. Uh, it's also a lot cooler and quieter down here because um, all the tables around like the different kiosks, you obviously have like people handling the food and that kind of stuff. So yeah, get ready. The Gary's around the world platter. He has got prawns. Gary's, Gary's yellow platter more like. <laughs> He's got, oh yeah, I forgot about the other I've got prawns, chicken, pork little things, breads, fries, you name it. He's got it. What's your thoughts on the layout? Love it. I just overheard a kid say, we should live on here. It doesn't work like that. I respect him. I've just had a bit of my grilled chicken. It's delicious. Gary's saying the chicken tenders are next level. Next level, but... I said to the lady who was doing the chicken tenders and that, Americans always go on about ranch dressing, ranch, and I was just like, it better be worth it because I'm shutting this country down otherwise. And she laughed and said, oh, it's worth it. She weren't messing around. So Adam, try it. Okay. You have that, you dip it in the ranch. Good, isn't it? Five out of five. She weren't messing. She weren't messing around. She didn't do me wrong. <laughs> and I respect her. Two desserts. I asked for two spoons, so I didn't. So the lady didn't think it was just for me. But it is. Well, they are. <laughs> I got some uh, chocolate ice cream with some vanilla sauce. Ooh. Mine are carrot cake and Oreo cookie cheesecake. Very nice. What do you think of the like food? Food. Great. Really loved it. Yeah. Um, lots of I took from all the different ones, so I really it really was the platter from around the world. But yeah, um, yeah I think next time I'll do some veg and green it up a bit. Out of five, five, five. Everything tasted incredible. Yeah, I, uh, the the quality, everything I had was out of five. I think I probably would have gone back and had some different things to try other things next time, but I um, panicked. <laughs> You've definitely got to try that. Oh, I do like a carrot cake. Now, Gary C, which I'd like to go and see the stateroom. I would like to go see the stateroom. This is what I'm most excited about. I cannot wait. So this is the coffee shop. In between um, the two sides of Marceline Market, you've got the um, coffee bar. There's quite a few coffee bars on board, actually. There used to only be the... Watch my jigger. The Cove Cafe. The Cove, where you get the little... There tickets. is still a Cove Cafe. Is there? Yes, accessible from deck... 12 or something, it's outside to get in. Um, but yeah, there's this place as well. Uh, we're gonna be on this side of the ship, we're on the port side. We're going to 10112, which looks like we're not gonna be far away from here. We've got a Luca. What? Oh, nice. A Luca theme. These doors are so cool. I love the theme. It's yeah, so look nice. how new they are though. Like, like the newness just makes them really sparkle. <gasps> oh, look, this is us. Is and I'm a DJ Vacation Club member, so I've got that on the door. That's cool. Do you want to do the honours? Open up. I do. I want to take a picture of the door first. <laughs> picture, picture. So they started doing this during the Magic at Sea settings, but they kind of stuck to it, where you get your cruise cards like delivered to the door rather than um, okay. having them uh, when you check in. Right. Are we ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. No, 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 no. I was, I was <laughs> going to do the Cheryl Cole thing where she says, Oh, you said that with some confidence. I'm ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so new. <gasps> oh, we have gifts. Ooh. And lanyards, I dare say. Ooh. Ooh love that. <gasps> We've got a Moana room! Hooray! Ooh. Brogan, if you're watching, could be your friend. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. On the bed, we've got a safety card for all of those essential safety procedures. Um, I am a gold member. Gary is a silver. So those are our lanyards. Cool. Disney Wish inaugural sailings. I don't even know what this is. That's for dry cleaning, isn't it? Uh, no, I think. Oh! Ooh, bag. 
very nice. We don't know who that is. Dibs. Dibs. It might be yours. No, no, you can have it if you want. I don't want it. Oh, thank God, I really like it. <laughs> oh, something different. Oh, very nice. Oh, a little travel bag. That'd be good. So is this new, the new stuff? I think these are just gifts because they're the inaugural sailings of the Disney Wish. Oh. That's what it looks like. Is there one that you prefer? You can have one. Now we're in the stateroom. I think it's only appropriate that we do a room tour. Room tour! So we'll start at the front door. This is the front door. La 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 la. la, la, la. Um, as you come in on the left hand side, you have a selection of wardrobes. And if we give them a push, ooh, robes. Robes. I don't think we normally get robes on a Disney cruise line, do you? No, normally only in concierge, I thought. Very nice. That's nice. Our life jackets actually have our place on as well. Yeah. Our so remember where to go. That's the place. If you need to. We basically go to um, the Walt Disney Restaurant, 1920 something. Shelving space, laundry bag, and a safe, safe. there that pulls out like so. Ooh, a little trinket dish. Nice size for jewelry. Probably just a tad too small for a laptop, but good enough. Nice little bit of space down there. <laughs> so weak. Uh, a ladder if they put down the bed from the ceiling. Hanger space there, lovely. Um, we'll go into the bathroom. So, on Disney Cruise Line you have split bathrooms. In the first door we have the toilet. Very nice. It's all very clean, very contemporary. I like it. Nice. The tiling on the floor is very nice. They've got little shelves up there to store your toiletries. Hand soap there. Ooh, very clean. I love the mirror. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Gary, if you be so kind. Da 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 da. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, that's Look cute. Look at that. Cow toucher. Towel toucher says. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got shelf space here. Ooh, it's very echoey in here. Is it? Yeah. Also, I've noticed it's a lot higher. Like I've actually got space above my head. Oh, it is. Hmm. Any chance to turn out a chin? Any well. chance to do a turn? But no, very nice. I like the fact that it has got a bathtub if you've got little ones with you. Um, nice space in there. Yeah, because if I stand up in here, normally. Oh, it's tall. Yeah, normally I would be like there. So. It's a good height for me, this one. I don't have to duck down. Yeah. Coming out of the bathroom and into the main room, we have the queen size bed. Disney Wish. Very nice. Uh, now, it depends on whereabouts you are on the ship, I think, as to which type of room you get. We have a Moana theme. Next to the bed, you've got a European socket. So if you want a, a, a larger voltage plug, you've got one there as US, US, USB plugs. Um, little lights beside the bed as well. Um, US plugs on the opposite side. Let's just turn those on, see what they do. Oh, no, that turned things off. Never mind. What's this? Oh, very nice. I like oh. this. Oh, yeah, that's good. A little detailing on there. And there's a reading light there as well. Very nice. We're in a family ocean view with veranda, um, which means that there, I think there could have been space for a pull down bed here, but either our room doesn't have it or they don't have them. I'm not sure. But there's basically a sofa bed here. There's a side table that can slide around. So, for example, when Gary's in his bed, you can have that as a side table, which is quite handy. Eating off it. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard with the. That's great. Oh, Pooh and Hey Hey. Oh. That's cute. It's very, it looks like it's very luxury design, isn't it? Mm. But, like, this is very spacious. Like, this space here specifically is very. Very nice. On the dresser, you have multiple shelves for storing bits and bobs. You also have a uh, drawer space. There is a fridge in there that's like a, uh, a drinks cooler rather than a um, actual standing fridge like we've had on the previous ships. Um, a little cupboard. A drawer with a hairdryer. Very nice. Do they give you the free postcards and stuff? They do. Stationery. They do. It is the same as we had before. 
If you know, you know. Dear Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> There's light switches there with a very large, bright mirror. Some more um, shelf space on the left-hand side there. Little bin. Also there you have a large flat screen television, uh, which had like our family name as we came in, which is lovely. And you've also got some shelf space down the side of the wardrobe there as well. And now for the pierre de resistance. The pen. <laughs> the balcony. If you manage to get a room with the bump out, you do get a slightly a bit more space on the veranda. I think normally the veranda would finish about here. Um, so thankfully with the bump out, you can kind of look down the whole ship which is kind of why I wanted it. Um, that's the back of the ship that way, the front of the ship this way. So you can just see a bit more. Also, fun fact, or pro tip rather, I personally like to be on the highest deck you can before you start getting to the common space areas. So on the Disney Wish, this is deck 10, and on uh, the Dream and the Fantasy, this is also deck 10 as well. You have this like lean out here, and that is very handy when it starts raining and also if you don't want to be sat in the sun. Sometimes if you're on some of the lower decks, the sun can cast into your balcony and it gets so hot that you can't actually sit on the balcony. First impressions? It's just new, isn't it? It just smells new, it's just nice everywhere. Mm. It's so nice. I just don't frightened to touch anything because it's so new. <laughs> Look at this, this is just all smooth. Like, you know when you go on different things, like you expect things to have dings and things because they've been going for years and years. Because this is brand new and it's within the, it's literally just been two weeks since it started sailing. It's like no one's been on it yet. It's yeah, just all it like, smells really, like it smells like new carpet. Basically. Everywhere, it's like pristine. Yeah, it's such a beautiful ship. I'm obsessed with this navy. Yeah, no, the, the colour scheme they've chosen, like the interior design is really, really nice. It's very, very minimalist and um, I, I don't know if they're going to get to the point where they refurbish the previous ships to have this same style. But there's basically a, there's the Triton class, which is the Disney Wish and then the next two ships that are coming soon. Um, so maybe they're all going to be themed like this. So I suspect that the next two ships will look a bit like this. I'm assuming they're going to learn a few things from the Disney Wish that they all then change this on is the just beautiful, next though. two ships. but um, That lobby as you come in. Yeah. I can't wait to get better pictures than that when it's not so chaotic in there. Yes. That, that's one thing I will say. That loud. area is very loud. It feels very chaotic in there. Like when we've been walking through and even when we were first standing there waiting for um, the... The little... F what was her name? It began with them. Magic lady. Magic lady! With the wands and everything. Um, so I just remember being like, this is making me very anxious. But apart from that, we've, it's been lovely. But if you the are an anxious great. person, then see the little show or don't, and then come back later on when everyone's at dinner and that. Because I guarantee you that entire area will be empty. Because yep. they always have Also first thing in the morning as well on a, on a Disney cruise. If yep. you want to get a nice picture of the lobby with no one in there. And also you have the gentle Disney music later on in the day. Yep. Rather than... Disney Wish, please welcome aboard the Hatton family! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's the thing we noticed. They don't clap anymore when you come on. No. And it's weird. Only on the Wish, though. I think it's just because they don't have the cast members stood in a line like they would normally do, like a welcome aboard. So they say welcome aboard, but then it's just... Silence. I don't know whether the Wish, the, the wish wand thing is going to be going on. Yeah, so don't I don't know I don't know if it's inaugural sailings only. Don't but. expect to want. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it'd be nice if they do. Because I'd see these videos and be like, I want a wand. Where's my wand? <laughs> wand. <laughs> it's 3.25 and our bags have arrived. Ooh, yeah, that rhymed. I'm a poet, didn't even know. Right, come along. <gasps> God, I forgot how heavy this thing is. Out into the world we go. To the magic of the wish. Uh, right, we'll go back to the staircase this way. Hello! So we're currently uh, deck 12 aft, and these are the restaurants. Whether they are open for a viewing, I'm not sure. Oh, promising. Oh! <gasps> it's all Beauty and the Beast. Wow. So this is the Rose, this is the bar that connects Arshante and Paolo. Wow. 
We're just sitting up here with a cocktail, looking out over the sea. Oh, lovely! Really beautiful, the petals everywhere. It's beautiful. Oh, Sean! <laughs> <laughs> this is Paolo. Yeah. Wow. So this is the wine collection they've got here. On the Disney Wish, this is actually Paolo's Steakhouse. So um, it's very much an Italian restaurant on the previous ships, but I think this one's steered towards steak. Look at the cheetahs and stuff behind you. Oh, wow. Wow. I know how much that would cost. Le fromage. <laughs> fromage. Wow. This is so beautiful. It's also worth noting that Paolo and uh, Oshante, they're actually an upcharge. So uh, if you're doing an adult dining, uh, this would be instead of doing your normal included dining service. So What's this is just like the private room on the dream. They have like ah, a separate extra bit. So if you want to have like your own private dining session, very luxurious. And look at the views as well. I know. Oh, look at that clock in there. I know. That is beautiful. We're now heading into Enchanté, which is the, it's a bit like Remy on the Dream of Fantasy, where it's one of the premium restaurants. But this one is a little bit more expensive than Paolo. Ooh, this is golden. Yeah, it's lovely. I bet this is going to be amazing. <laughs> I bet this is going to be expensive. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is the Lumiere to the Cogsworth. Yes. So everything in here is Lumiere, golden, candelabra, and everything in there is clockwork. Oh. Oh, yeah. With all the, co with all the clocks and the cogs and everything. There's a lot of beauty in the beast on this year. Well, obviously, Enchanté, Rose, and Paolo, they've all been themed. Be Please be careful. <laughs> this was about to become an even more expensive cruise. <laughs> oh, yes, Gary just broke the priceless chandelier in Enchanté. <laughs> now, this is what I call fancy. Um, we're not doing any of the speciality dining on this cruise because we just really want to see... Um, the three main dining rooms, like as the product is, what is included in the cruise. What a dive. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's being ironic. In the Rose Bar they even have like their own like guest book so you can sign it on the way out. So cool. Funnily enough, there's only been three pages used, so <laughs> it shows how early we are. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> no, we haven't dined here just yet, so <laughs> maybe later. What's really weird about this hallway is you look like you're going to walk to you, into yourself. It's like a reverse mirror. Weird. It's strange because this is all Beauty and the Beast live action film. Yes. So it's like a mixture of both. Okay, we are moving into the adults only area, which is the Quiet Cove area. Um, this is on deck 13 at the forward, I want to say. Well, that's cool, they've got like a little jacuzzi there. There's currently no one in there, so I mean, if you can get that to yourself, nice little way to chill out. You can look over the side of the ship. I'll tell you what, if you melt in the heat, July is not the time to be coming on a Disney Wish cruise because the heat coming off this wood is like an oven. Got little rocking chairs out the back here, which is lovely. Now's not a great time to show you the quiet cove pool for the adults because there's a lot of people in bathing suits and I don't want to film. It's not so quiet. It's not so quiet. <laughs> um, it looks like there's a little area at the top from the quiet cove pool which is a little bit more serene. There is a bar down there as well as two infinity pools. You might just be able to see the edge of them over there. So this is where Cove Cafe is. That's the only thing that I've heard about Cove Cafe is the only way to get here is by going outside. Mm. So if it's raining, it might be difficult to get here. Since we've only got a bit of time to kill before the sail away, we have gone for a caramel frappuccino and a summer berry iced tea. Ooh. Look at him! And look, it's like a pineapple. It's very cool. Once again, at the conclusion of this announcement, the general alarm will be sounded. If you have small children or sensitive hearing, you may want to cover your ears. Thank you.
bit emotional. Oh god. Oh no, this is when you cry again. This is the Marvel restaurant. Oh, is it? Oh, we don't want to see that. No, 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 no spoilers. <laughs> I'm still reeling after that solo party. I it was great. It. it was so good. I was crying through most of it, but I enjoyed it very much. Um, the atrium definitely clears out, or the grand hall, as it's called, I think, on here. Um, really clears out once the sail away party is kind of like finished. So, if you want a picture with the icon of the ship, the Cinderella and the cat. Oh, 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 oh. Um, this is in one of the quizzes. The name of the cat is Lucifer. Lucifer. Here's old Cinders. Cindy girl. And if you look around the back here, we've got two little mice friends. Down here is also the entrance to uh, 1923. So you have a Roy Disney side and you have a Walt Disney side. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> What's your name again? My name's Lenora. Yes. Lenora. Lenora. And, and what are your names? I'm Adam. 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 This is Adam Gary. Gary. Adam and Gary. Well, it's very nice to meet you. And what kingdoms are you coming from today? We're from the United Kingdom. Oh, I knew her well. Yes, we're <laughs> from the United Kingdom. London. London. Oxfordshire. Yes. Oxfordshire. My goodness. Yes. Well, are you ready for your adventures? We are we more are. than excited. We're, we're very excited. Yes. I've had a little emotional breakdown or two. Oh, well, that happens. 
difference when you're here with all this magic. Hello. Rain. Isn't it? Just Hello! Oh, well, they're from the United Kingdom. Ah! So we, just, we were just catching up. Are these the thing? Princess of the United Kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The stay. The yes. stay. Oh, <laughs> Adam and Gary. What's your name, sir? I am Lord Leopold, of course. Yes. Oh, Lord Leopold. Yes. My cousin. Wait, yes, I already said my name. Lenora. Did you tell them that we're the first? Lenora, the, Lenora the beautiful, I hear. Oh, oh my goodness, we really seem to get sick again. Lenora the beautiful, you say? <laughs> I'm going to have to check this with multiple other sources. Well, I think they'd agree. Everyone thinks I'm just the fairest in the world. Really? Well, look out, look out for that evil queen. She'll love your head. Yes, we all. Oh. But don't wear it. No, it won't fit me either. <laughs> Actually, no, I heard of one from a kingdom far, far away. Did you really? Yes, I did. With, with ogres and frogs and a wicked fairy. A wicked fairy? Sure, I heard of that one. I don't think that the this frog. story. The, sounds the frog, right the now. wicked fairy godmother, the ogres, magic, and I believe a white noble steed. I think you've mushed a lot together there. Oh, I have. I believe there I is one. I don't think this story sounds like anything from this kingdom. No, I never said it was from this kingdom. I just oh. said I heard of this story. Oh, well, it sounds That's like all I heard. That's what I'm saying. Our kingdom has all the best stories. Exactly. We keep it nice and simple. Yes. Exactly. Oh, that Disney... The Disney music on the Disney Cruise Line is honestly my favourite thing about it. It's so nice. Just adds to the atmosphere, the ambiance, some might say. Uh, we're going to ten. What level was it? Ten. In we go. Oh, private aircon, don't mind if I do. Oh, I see. It's like different things. So like you can put on what you're doing. So we're entertaining our appetite at dinner or time for a deck party. Renewing and rejuvenating at Senses Spa. So you can like tell your other family members what you're doing. Oh, or would be thieves that you're not in the room. No? I think he is the thieves. To think like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this room is so beautiful. Have we got any water in here? Uh, the tap? Oh. Oh. From the tap. Tap water? Oh. I understand I'm looking more and more dishevelled, but we have come back here to like get ready for like the show and dinner and stuff. Um, apart from the wardrobe, I will say there's not a lot of the, well, there isn't any, apart from one, uh, drawer space. So if you've got a lot of you in this room, you might struggle to store your clothes. The only place you can really do it is in the wardrobe. Um, and even then there's only like a certain amount of actual shelf space. So thankfully it's only a short cruise on this one. Um, I think if this was going to be like a week long ship, it might be a bit more difficult, but for three nights it's probably going to be fine. We've left the port! We are sailing, sailing away! Or as far as wish goes, it's uh... Set sail! Da -da -da. Lyrics, 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 lyrics! Set sail! It is showtime, we're going to the Walt Disney Theatre for... Seize the adventure. Seize the adventure! Thank All you, right. assistant. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so cool. So the Walt Disney Theatre is themed to the Enchanted Forest, and might I say, this looks beautiful. Whilst we're waiting for the show to start, we're taking a look at the new Wi-Fi packages that you can get on board. Uh, so they have three packages, Stay Connected, Basic Surf and Premium Surf. Now, the Stay Connected one, which starts at $12 a day, um, that allows you to basically post text and pictures to social media websites. Uh, the Basic Surf allows you to check the weather, check emails and also make audio calls. And then the Premium Surf basically lets you do everything apart from um, go on streaming platforms like Netflix and Hulu, but you can listen to music, you can make video calls and that kind of stuff. Um, so that is $90 for our voyage or, tw or $36 for 24 hours. Uh, the basic surf is $24 per day and the stake is $12 per day. So it's a lot more affordable than it once was. And uh, it's actually got more uses, like $12 a day to be able to post on Instagram and social media. Pretty good. So as with all Disney Cruise Line shows, we can't film the actual theatre shows, um, but this is the uh, Seize the Adventure show, which is a bit like the Golden Mickeys, like the Welcome Aboard show with all the different characters and stuff. 
So we're gonna sit back, relax, and we'll let you know what we thought. This is your own adventure. Welcome aboard the Disney World. Have an amazing vacation. We both cried. Very more so. Lots of goosebumps. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let's start off with out of five. 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 Amazing. Five plus. five plus. It was so Disney. Like it had all the classics in there, some new stuff. Started crying at Tiana. Yep. And then hysterically crying at Hercules. There was a lot of like classic, just feel good, tingle, tingle in your fingers. Magic, and I it's loved it. Amazing. Yeah, we, we won't amazing. we won't spoil everything, obviously, but we'll just tell you, it's great, and it was very much like the Golden Mickey's, but like better, even better than that. Even better than the Golden Mickey's. They have a band here called Disney Victrophonics, which looks like they're going to be performing whilst people get ready for dinner and stuff. Mm. I can't get over that show. It was so good. My eyes are sore from crying. <laughs> The second Hercules started, I was like, oh no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> In heading back to the room to get ready for dinner, um, we've learnt that, wow, okay, go for it team. <laughs> um, we've learned that, uh, that this ship is a bit more different to navigate from the previous. We're currently working out like what staircase we are out of the two, um, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, that's oh, cute. That is cute. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Oh no, wait, it's not what it says. A dream that you wish will come true. Ah, yes. oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. That's it. That's, that's it. it. We, just, we, just to see it. <laughs> we just wanted a picture. <laughs> Ruth is the best stateroom host already. Thank you. <laughs> As I'm about to start getting ready, I'm just going to show you what the shower looks like when it's on, so you can have an idea. La la la. Okay. Uh, I'm about to get wet, I feel. Let's just point that away. Good. Not bad. All showered. Very nice shower. Really nice. Better than the other previous ships, which is all in, you need. In comparison to the show we just watched? I mean... <laughs> Nothing beats the show we just watched. You get on this ship, you go see that show. That is so good. Yeah. I'm still thinking about it now. Yeah. Well, apparently that's not even like the flagship one, so God it's knows what called, Little is going to do to us. It's called um, Seize Something. Uh, seize the Adventure. Seize the Adventure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing my Disney Cruise Line shirt today that I got on a previous cruise. La la la. La la la. Um, we are going to 1923 today. Walt Disney 1923. Oh, we're in Walt Disney. Walt Disney 1923, that's okay. what it's called. Yeah, well, because there's two sides. There's Roy Disney and there's Walt Disney. So we're oh, Walt Disney. we're Walt Disney. Does it give us a table number as well? It does. Okay, that's all we need to know. Um, but, yeah, this seems like a good chance as any. If you're planning a Disney cruise and you would like some more of my advice, pro tips, fun facts, that kind of stuff, I do have a book. Dream Guide, an unofficial guide to Disney Cruise Line. Uh, this is literally everything I could tell you about Disney Cruise Line in a book. Um, all the stuff that applies to the four previous ships still applies to the Wish. The only thing I think's changed is uh, how they do the muster drill, and yeah. that's just because of COVID and everything. So, uh, if you want to like learn about how much gratuities to leave, uh, what the stateroom layouts are like, what's going to be right for you, it's available on Amazon UK and AdamHatton.com. Uh, if you're planning a trip to Disney World, there's a sister book to Disney World. So, thank you very much if you do choose to purchase the book. Um, those of you who did purchase the book have made this a bestseller. So, I mean, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Are we ready for... I'm more than ready. Le dinner. I've not looked at nothing online for these restaurants. So I'm going in real cold and I cannot wait. Because people have said, like, are you going to try the signature dessert? What? signature dessert so yeah apparently the food on here is like next level as well so you can definitely like tell that they've learned from some of the things on the previous ships to implement on here so i'm so excited I, I know i keep saying i'm so excited oh yes i can't wait but i literally have been like counting down the days of this trip i'm never like this level excited for anything because antidepressants <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah i just can't wait. Okay. So we've noticed that actually you get a lift quicker and it's not normally full with the two elevator shafts. Have you, do you agree? 
I don't know what you mean. As in like, so normally on the previous ships, you'd press for a lift, and then it would take ages for one to come, and then it would oh, be full. Oh, right, yeah, they'd come quicker. Whilst on this ship, like, we've come to the lift, so it's normally been empty, so. And like, there's eight on this shaft, so. Disney Wish! Oh, this one's different as well. This one's got the Cinderella characters. Yeah, they have like different wallpapers and stuff. Oh no, this is the one you've taken a picture of. I'll take that one. <laughs> we have since learned that if you are coming to dinner, my advice is do not arrive too early. So, um, it's 8.15 now, which is when the second seating starts. Um, and they are literally only opening the doors now, but you can see the lines downstairs. There's no need to stand in the line. You're not gonna get served any quicker. Um, enjoy the ship and probably rock up five or 10 minutes after 8.15 and you'll walk straight in. Yeah. They're starting to let me go in now, it's starting to move. So the doors to the outside are a little less like conspicuous than the previous ones. Wow, lovely. Ooh, that's nice. Whoa, that's... <laughs> Bye, my friend. <laughs> Upon a star, it makes no difference. <laughs> it's like a wind tunnel. So you've got all that heat and everything during the day, but once you're out to sea, yeah, once the breeze is here, um, oh, it's about to rain. Just flex a bit of rain, Gary. In what world is it about to rain? Just you wait. I can feel it. It's you probably someone washing down. the windows or something. Or someone spitting on me from up or, there. Or, heaven forbid, we're on the sea. You know? Yeah. I forgot about that. If you've seen the Disney Cruise Line vlogs on my channel before, you'll know this fun fact. Disney Cruise Line is the only ship allowed to use this yellow colour, and they had to get special permission from the Coast Guard to use it, so that it matched the whole, like, Mickey Mouse colour aesthetic. But most of the other cruise lines you'll find, like, bright orange. So as well as the main stairwells, they also have a couple of these like mini stairwells. So we don't have to necessarily walk all the way to the end to go down the floor. Very, very intriguing. <gasps> Ooh, look at that tapestry. Yeah, there's one there as well. This is the Cinderella side. Very nice. 8.22 and the line has gone down significantly. Much better. Much better. <laughs> Hi! 201, please. Thanks. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Wow. This is nice. This is really nice. I like it. I absolutely love the decor. It's very like. Hollywood esque. Yes. Um, I like the green of the chairs. This is all, it's all very like Hollywood Brown Derby. Isn't yeah, it? Like legit Hollywood. Mm. And they've got the little bits from Disney movies in the, in the previous, like that's how they used to film the cells and stuff. I bought some postcards of um, concept art from the Disney films, and that's one of them. Yeah. So this is the menu for 1923, and it's so great that they've actually gone back to like the physical menus. Because remember previously they have to do the QR code on the previous sailings. We don't do technology. No pictures are there. We this like physical things. Picture, picture. Oh my gosh, I'm going to really struggle to decide what to have. Okay. Appetizers, we've got tuna, we've got a tortellini, we've got a mozzarella and prosciutto, duck confit. We've got a couple of salads there. There uh, is a corn chowder, a tomato soup, bread service. Ooh. It's a roasted onion butter. Lovely. And we got a beautiful homemade bread. Thank you. I brought my grandmother for you, so she's baking for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is really going to test my pronunciation skills. Torticoloni pasta. No, that was, I butchered that. Um, we've got a salmon fillet there. We've got a green circle chicken. We've got Italian flat parsley and rosemary crusted rack of lamb. Or a filet mignon. Ooh. Vegetarian options we've got a Moroccan spiced roasted kabocha and butternut squash and a Buena Vista soft shell tacos. Ooh. So I've gone for the duck confit. This looks incredible. And I went for the fanciest tomato soup you've ever seen in your life. Ooh. 
Our server Inya Man also told us that the restaurant is named after 1923, which is the year the Walt Disney Company was founded, which means next year is a hundred years of Disney. Let's hope they do some pins. <laughs> What's the little sauce? Um, it's a jam. Oh. But it's, the best way to describe it is it like a duck corn fee samosa. Ooh. Five out of five. Very good. I went for the filet mignon, looking gorgeous. Thank you very much. Thank you. What'd you go for, Gary? <laughs> this time I went for the chicken. <laughs> For dessert, we have a choice of churros, almond cake, or a apple cheesecake. Ooh. Turns there is an ice cream sundae, which is Hollywood Hills hot chocolate fudge sundae. No sugar added options, and also a signature dessert. It's a shoe! Yes. Very good. <laughs> is this a shoe? It is a shoe. <laughs> it's a little boot, a little kinky boot. <laughs> oh, I love that. Our lovely assistant server, Javier, is going to be giving us a little uh, origami lesson. Did you see my little boot? They did. What did you get, Gary? I got the signature dish, which is... The signature dish. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm wondering how the white napkin is going to be in with the pink one. It's going to be glam. I expect it to be marble. Oh, well, hang on a minute. Ah, oh, not yet, not yet, Finny. Ready. Hey! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've gone for the churros, which comes with uh, the something something de leche. Mine is a... Mm. Very good. Yours is a something. We oh, don't mean we can't remember. Thing. Meringue, oh, yeah. lemon, lemon meringue thing. You won't mind. It's amazing. This is really good. <laughs> it's actually 10 p.m. but that was so cool. Love that. We are here at Luna for Match Your Mates. The, pro the production value is a 10 out of 10. Brilliant. Luna, like a TV, like a TV show. welcome to Match Your Mates. Now please welcome to the stage your hosts of the night, the stars of the show. Would it be song number one? <laughs> Everything's bright and shiny and new. You're on a magic carpet ride. Yes, you are. Would it be song number two? 
Ooh, that gumbo's piping hot, but maybe it needs a couple more spices. Yeah, maybe. Or, it's a song number six. Six, six. Yes, those palace doors are shut tight. Yeah. Loved it. Brilliant. I uh, highly recommend that show on all of the Disney Cruise Line ships. It's good fun. Uh, we're just going to pop into Nightingales to have a little look. Oh, there's a singer, Gary. Almost exclusively like a piano bar, like everyone's yeah, facing the piano singer and... Yep, nightingales as in voice, so that's why. Oh, because like sometimes you've been Sing to the piano... sweet nightingale. <laughs> well, sometimes on the piano bars on the other ships, they're like, the piano's in the background. Yeah. That was like the focus, which is really nice. Yeah. The ceiling is so beautiful in here in the evening. Pink So they basically do like a good night kiss. And I think it might be every hour on the hour from 10 p.m. Taking pictures in the lobby with the chandelier and Gary crying. starts crying. <laughs> Just because we took a selfie, I'll show you. Of us with the the shiny thing. And you can like see all the lights and everything. And the music and the music is doing what it's doing right now. It's like all the Disney music. So that could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Look cry. It's absolutely incredible in here. What's that goose you've had the most amazing day ever? And you've given yourself a headache multiple times from crying. Naughty goose. Come along now. So, word to the wise, if you want to come and enjoy the Grand Hall um, in all its finery, come about 11.30. It's nice and quiet. Sparkles, prettiness, it's lovely. Join me now as the lovely servers of the Disney Wish said that we're welcome to have a look around whilst they're empty, so. Ooh. So we dined in the Walt Disney, but this is the Roy Disney. So we're gonna have a look around at some of the the art in here. Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Wow. It's such a nice dining hall. It's really lovely. It's very like it feels so vintagey. Like it feels like you step back in time in here. Mm. All you can do is step back in time. Sorry, I had to put so a bit of Chloe in there somehow. Well. Also, from two people who absolutely love Tiana and just Princess and the Frog vibes in general. This is the ship for you, if you love Princess and the Frog. Like, they've got the bayou, Tiana was part of the Seas, the Adventure Seas Show. Adventure. And she was also, as she walked in, and she's part of the Sail Away now. Yeah, it's just, it's... Oh yeah, because she was there when we should, we're waiting. Yeah, she's yeah. everywhere. Great. This is great. I'm loving the, the nostalgia of the old films as well. Mm. Mm. What wallpaper did we get this time? The Cinderella wallpaper! Doors closing. Ooh, I like the voice. I'm telling you now, this embarkation day we did not stop, but we did not get time to was... go in the shops. Also, they were very, very busy when they first opened, weren't they? Yeah. Um, so, tune in to next week's vlog for a little tour around the shops. We're gonna do that tomorrow on the next yeah. Saturday. Um, but I'm pretty sure we saw all the adult spaces. We saw a lot of the outdoor space, but not all of it. Yeah, we need to do more pickups of the circuit at the upper, 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 where the pools are and that kind of yeah. stuff. But we, we've decided we're not going to get off the ship in this hour because we did it last time and um, we saw everything we wanted to see. We want to see more of the wish. Let's see the bed. 
there's an animal! Is it a peacock? Yes, it is. Oh, that kicking off shoe feeling. So good. So good! That kicking off your clothes feeling. I'm not showing them that. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that. Also, side note, just filled up my bottle of water. The water from the taps on the Wish is chef's kiss. Mm, this is good. In the toilet, you have a little night light. So, that was one of the problems on the previous ships, is that when you like went to go to the toilet during the night, you'd turn the light on to try and get in and it would like wake everyone else up. So now you don't have to do that. Nice. Well, to you, I say, well done. Congratulations. Well done on making it this far. I suspect it's been a very long vlog. Sweet dreams, sweets for you. Free chocolates for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a magical day. What a day. If Disney are watching this, highlight of the day. Too many. Pick, go on, pick one. My highlight of the day was the um, set sail show, mainly because it brought me to an emotional breakdown, but absolutely loved it. I do want to say the show is an entertainment because it's incredible, but when you first walk on and you see that lobby, the the great hall as they call it, right. and the lady with the wands and everything, and they're giving all the kids wands, and all the kids are like waving the wands and that, it's like, this is Disney this magic. This is the Disney, well, this but is the wish, Disney wish. But magical. <laughs> If there's anything that you've seen about The Wish that you think has been better on previous ships or anything, what the, would you say? Well, based on our little walkthrough of the adult area, the adult area on the other ships is bigger, but yes. the onus on this ship, supposedly, is towards like families, which is why the yeah. children's areas, and teenage that, areas, are huge. And so, yeah, so the, 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 the adult area on this ship is a lot smaller. So if you're looking for like a couple's getaway to spend more time in the adult zone, Maybe one of the other ships might be better for you at this time. Dream or fantasy, because um, are. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is it is much different navigating this ship as it is to previous ones. A lot of the stuff looks similar, so you sometimes forget about where you are on the ship. It might be the case that after three days we know exactly well, everywhere we go, but... He's already mastered it, because he just looked on the, the map thing next to the lifts and went, dun, 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 and we got back here straight away, so... It just goes to show it can be done. Well, yeah, once you've learnt that the red is the aft staircase and the greeny blue is the forward, it helps. But um, yeah. yeah, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate you. If you want to plan a Disney cruise and you would like some more of my advice, tips, and some of Gary's pictures, Dream Guide to Disney Cruise Line and Dream Guide to Disney World. This one's an Amazon UK bestseller. Um, you can purchase both of them at adamhatton.com. Um, links will be in the description. Follow us on Instagram if you want to see some more of the pictures at Adam Hatton. At Ooh, Gary C. C. All links in the bottom. Everything, everything, everything. Everything, everything, everything. Don't forget your sweets. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending the time with us. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the other future stuff. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in Nassau.